Ciao friends! Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's project is one that Evie has been bugging me about for a while because she has her cat ears hat, her fox ears hat, and she wanted a bunny ears hat. Been working on that for a little while and even though we have snowflakes today, I thought I would put it out and maybe it would make everything turn into spring. We'll have Easter and have bunny ear hats all over the place even though I have snowflakes so that I'm not really happy about. So there we go. Has nice long floppy ears and a nice warm hat. Here's my prototype. I just made him in gray because I had a lot of gray yarn so I wanted to work through. There's the gray one so you can see you can color it up like crazy. There's just some random ears that I made. So let's get started. Evie wanted. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. So she wanted it to be blue. So I have a pink one that I made here just because it was fun to make with the pink. But here's the blue. And obviously we need two ears. So we're going to make another floppy ear that looks just like this one. I'm using Karen Simply Soft. I think this is just called Soft Blue. Yep, Karen Simply Soft, Soft Blue. It's a four weight, nice little yarn. It's, very, it's kind of shiny, it's really soft. It's one of my favorites. I love working with this product. I think it's awesome. The Yarn Inspiration people, I love it. They just need to make more colors that are available. I can't hardly find anything anymore. And it wants a five millimeter hook. And I'm actually going to use my five millimeter hook because you know how I change things up sometimes. I am going to use a five today. All right, so we start out with the magic circle. And if you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a little tutorial on my channel that shows you how to do it the easy way. Boom, just like that. It's only a couple minutes long. So in our magic circle, we want six single crochets. And there's one. And we will be working in the round. I love my stitch markers. I don't have to count if I get distracted, which happens. It happens. There's number two, number three, four, five, and six. And this is the magic part of the magic circle. Now we have our stitches in. Boom. Pull it tight. And it closes that right up. Again, we're starting down at the bottom and working our way up to the top of the ear. All right, so there was our first round. That was pretty simple. Now we're going to do increases. And when you're working in the round like this, an increase is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So we will be increasing up to 12. And move my stitch marker. There was one, and there's a second one in that same stitch. So two in each stitch equals 12. As always, I will meet you back at the stitch marker. Those are my last two stitches in round two. You might want to have a clicker handy too. All right, round two is complete. That was simple. Round three, we're going to increase again, which is a simple one. If you're familiar with this, awesome. You do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then two single crochets in the next stitch. And that is the very basic sequence all the way around. So there was one in this stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch. And I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. That's your sequence. So that was an increase from 12 to 18. We're going to do another increase up to 24. So we'll do the first stitch is a single crochet and the second stitch is a single crochet. Two, and that is your increase. So two stitches, whoopsie, so two single crochets in that third stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. Go single crochet, single crochet, and two in the same stitch. And I'll meet you in a moment. And there's my last stitch. That's row four. We just increased to 24. We want to do another increase up to 30. Probably guessed that we're going to do three single crochets before our increase. So one, two, three. And then our increase is two single crochets in the same stitch. And do that all the way around. One, two, three. And then two in that fourth stitch. 
making my last two stitches for that increase right there. Boom! And that's round five. Round six, we're going up to 36, increasing from 30 to 36. So I'm sure you've got that sequence down by now. Move my stitch marker. So that was my first single crochet. It's four single crochets before you increase. One, two, three, four, and an increase. Two in the same stitch. All the way around. And there's my last two stitches, which is my last increase in round six. We're going to do one more round of increase, which is round seven, and we're going to do five single crochets before the increase. We're going to increase now from 36 up to 42, and then we are ready to build more of an ear instead of just a circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and an increase. Two in the same stitch. All the way around. Meet you at the marker. And then my last two stitches in round seven. And that's an increase. Both of those stitches were in the same stitch. Round seven is complete. We have now made ourselves a little circle all the way up to 42 stitches around. So that's the bottom right here. The bottom right here. So we'll be working in the round again. Now it's 8 through 12, which is 5 rounds, is just single crochet all the way around, so we're going to start working up instead of out. So 42 single crochets all the way around times 5 rounds. There's my first one. And I will meet you back here after I have all five of my rounds done. All right, here we go. It's my last stitch in round, I believe it's 12. Yes, round 12. All done. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. Now we've done five rounds of 42 straight up. And now we're going to start to decrease just a little bit. And my decrease on here so that I don't have a whole bunch of stitches that are actually bunched up together, like two together. We're going to do it a little bit differently. So for round 13, we're going to single crochet and move our stitch marker. So that was my first one. I want to single crochet six. One, two, three, four, whoopsie, four five, and six, and the seventh stitch, we're just going to skip it. Skip it completely. Jump over that one and do six more in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to skip this one. Do that all the way back to the marker. And my very last stitch. Yay, my six rounds are done. So we are all the way up to round 19 now. So now we're going to decrease just a teeny bit. Before we did six, this time it's going to be five. We're going from 36 down to 30. So there's my first single crochet. We're going to go single crochet one, two, three, four, and five, and then we skip. The stitch is getting skipped. We're going to jump right over here and do five more in a row. All the way around. There's three, four, and five, and I still have one stitch right here which is also to be skipped. So again, perfect. See, it's starting to poof a little bit, and that was round 20. Now for round 21 through 27, which is seven rounds. We're going to skip over this guy, remember, and go into our marked stitch with a single crochet. Single crochet all the way around. We just reduced down to 30. So it'll be 30 stitches in each round times seven rounds. So I will meet you when I have all seven of my rounds of 30 complete. And my 
very last stitch and that was round 27 is now complete yay now round 28 we're going to reduce one more time just like we did before so there's my first single crochet and moving my stitch marker one two three and four and then we skip jump over that stitch and go one two three four all the way around three and four all right so we just decreased down to 24 on round 28 one stitch left we're going to skip that one jump over to our marked stitch and our next 10 rounds are all single crochets all the way around for 24 stitches per round so 10 rounds and I will meet you when I have all of mine done. Right, and now we made it 10 rounds. This is my last stitch all the way through round 38. See, we got our little ear is so cute. I love him. I love him. One last decrease. So row 39, we're going to go into our marked stitch with a single crochet. And you probably can figure it out by now. I try to make my patterns as simple as I can. One, two, three and then our skip right here skipping that stitch right here all the way around one two three and a skip two and three and there's my skip I have one left so that's perfect so that was round 39 so we're going to start our next 20 rounds we just reduced from 24 down to 18 the next 20 rounds are just going to be single crochet all the way around goes pretty fast even though it sounds like a lot 28 or 20 rounds oh no it's only 18 stitches so I will meet you back here when I have my 20 rounds of 18 done and that will be through round 59 yes 59 round 59 my last couple stitches in my last in all 20 rounds yay yay I'm done click 20 20 complete all the way around 18 stitches per now we have an ear but we want to finish off the top right here so let's mark our very last stitch that we just made right here I'm gonna mark this so it's easy to see and we're gonna flatten this out and now we're going to single crochet all of these together single crochet it closed so what we want to do here is there are 18 stitches we want to make nine single crochets all the way through I'm going to count over and mark these because when you get down here these stitches are going to be really hard to find so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then, of course, the next one, because coming backwards, that would be the next one that needs to go to nine stitches, nine and ten, need to be stitched together. And once this is all closed up, it's going to be a little tricky to find. So, mark them just for a second. Doesn't hurt anybody. And we want to slip stitch into this first stitch that was marked here. I have it marked with orange. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go back through that same stitch and the blue one in the back right here. That all the way through both stitches. So you can see that right there. I'm through both stitches and I want a single crochet. So we yarn over, pull through all that stuff and then single crochet. One. You want to go and do that for all the way across. So we end up with nine. So we're going to go through 18 stitches across. So we'll end up with nine single crochets. There's number two. And there's number three. So we're going to get him closed. 
there's number whoopsie there's number four five my two last stitches see how hard those are to find if I didn't have them marked but now they're easy there's one and there's the other one yarn over pull through and single crochet so now you can take all those stitch markers out that are probably in your way so that was row 60 make two more rows and then we're done with this ear so we're going to chain one turn our work and single crochet all nine stitches. One, two, and nine. And one more time. Chain one, turn our work, single crochet all nine. And eight, and nine. There's my last stitch of this ear. Hooray! Finish that. And we're going to finish off snip and then just pull that through. So now that we have our two ears we can move on to the hat. But you have to have the ears done first in order to make the hat because we're going to attach them right up here when you're almost done with the hat. Alright so we're going to start on the hat and it works from the bottom up. So we're going to do a ribbing, do a slip, slip knot. We're still on our five millimeter hook and I'm using the same yarn this time. This one I did two strands so it was a nice heavy hat that kind of matched the heaviness of this really bulky. I did a double strand of the same pink because I think this was Pound of Love so it wasn't nearly as bulky as this one so I tried to do that. If you want to you certainly can and have a bigger hat, have a sturdier hat, but I'm just going to do a single, single strand. So what we want to do is chain 60. So there's my first five. Now I'm going to mark my very first stitch and I'm going to go into this first stitch. I just removed my hook and I'm going to go through my first stitch and then back through here again so I don't get a twist in my chain. We're going to end up making a ring. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, all right, don't make your chain too tight because we're going to be working into the back bumps back here and if they're really tight chains then we can't work in there very easily. So chain up to 60, 58, 59, and 60. And now I'm also going to mark the 60th one just so we, everyone can see what I'm doing. Chain number 60. Now in this, with this last one I'm going to pull through my first chain. So I have only one single loop on my hook and chain one. Now I want to go back into this blue marked stitch in its back bump, which is right there. And I marked that stitch so it didn't get too tight and get lost. But there's one. I'm just going to single crochet in the back bump of all of these. You'll end up with 60 single crochets. And I'll meet you back at the other stitch marker in just a minute. There's 50. 59 and this back bump right here is 60. Hooray! I just want to make sure this isn't twisted. We're going to start working in the round. There we go. Not twisted. I'll move this stitch to my 60th stitch or this marker to my 60th stitch just so everybody can see what's going on all the time. Okay, slip stitch into our blue stitch, nice and tight, chain one and double crochet into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and we're going to move our marker. Do that all the way around. We want 60 double crochets for this round. And 58, 
58, 59, and there's my 60 double crochets. And this is how you will, oh, we're going to move my stitch marker so we know we're at 60, we don't skip, or we don't lose or gain a stitch. This is how we'll do every round from now on. When we get to the end, we have to close it up to finish our round slip stitch into our first stitch that I have marked in blue and chain one that chain one does not count as a stitch and into then you'll be doing working on the next stitch so on this very first stitch here we're going to start making ribbing so we're going to go behind we're doing a front post double crochet so we're going to put our hook in and go around this post right here yarn over pull through and finish a double crochet just like normal. I'll take that marker and mark that first stitch. So now we have a front post double crochet. The next one is a back post. So come in from behind and bring your hook around the front of that next double crochet post. Yarn over, pull through and complete complete your double crochet and then alternate there's a front post and a back post and front post and back post And we're going to do that for three rounds. There's a couple more here so you can see what kind of a ribbing effect we get. See that makes it stretchy. We have a ribbing. That's our first row of our ribbing. So we did a row of single crochets here into our chain. And we did a row of double crochets. So we have a place to start working our three rounds of front post and back post alternating double crochet. So I'll meet you back here when we get to three rounds of my ribbing is done. Right, and one last stitch. I'm going to remove my stitch marker right now so I can get to that last stitch easily. One more back post double crochet. So we're going to go around this post and complete our double crochet. Hooray! Now slip stitch to our marked stitch. So I'm just going to put the stitch marker back in here. So we have our first and our 60th stitch. Slip stitch into our first stitch like we always have been and chain one. Right, so we did our chain one. Remember that doesn't count. We're going to do a double crochet into our marked first marked stitch. We're going to do double crochets all the way around. So we did all this ribbing right here and now we're going to start working up our hat. That's why I tell you this one goes pretty fast. Double crochet all the way around for six rounds. Remember when you join your rounds you do a slip stitch and a chain one but that chain one does not count just like you were doing on the ribbing. 59 and 60. Hooray! Don't necessarily need this stitch marker. I'm just leaving it as a landmark for everyone who is watching. And again, slip stitch into that first mark stitch and a chain one, which does not count. We did the ribbing and that was our first round of double crochet. It'd be a really good time if you haven't done it already to try on this hat. It should be a little bit snug at the bottom of the ribbing and your very first chain. It should be a little bit snug because this is definitely going to stretch. So if it's way too big, you might want to use a smaller hook. If it's way too tight and you think it's very uncomfortable, then I would use a, I would go up to a five and a half perhaps. All right, so now we're going to do six rounds of double crochet. That was our first one. I will meet you back here when we're about to, we're about this high. And here's my last double 
crochet and again as we always have been slip stitch to the first stitch and chain one one two three four five six six done now we need to reduce just a little bit so we did our chain one we are going to double crochet into that same mark stitch just like we have been all of the other times and move my stitch marker want to do four more. So a total of five double crochet. There's number two, there's number three, number four, and number five. We're going to skip the next stitch, skip this stitch, and begin over here with another sequence of five. One, two, Skip this stitch all the way around. You want to keep that sequence going. We're reducing from 60 down to 50. And I'm almost done with these reducings. There's number four. And there's five. And one left because we have to skip it. So that's perfect. Slip stitch to our first stitch. And chain one, which does not count. Now we just reduced from 60 down to 50. Right, we're going to reduce one more time. So in that same stitch that's marked, double crochet and move our marker. And this round we will do four double crochets before we do our skip. One, two, three, four, and skip all the way around. So we're reducing down to 40. There's my last double crochet and right here is the last one that we need to skip. So we are going to jump over and slip stitch into our marked stitch and chain one. Just like we have been the whole time. Right there. Right now we get to the fun part. We're going to attach our ears right in here. Just like these are. So we're going to attach half of this ear. So we're going to attach the first four. One, two, three, four. We're going to attach these first four so it's as even as it can possibly be on the outside of our hat. So there's one stitch, two stitch, three stitch. There's our fourth stitch. We want to go through here and through the one that's marked. So you can see them through both. Right there, there's my loop and there's my stitch from my ear and there's my stitch from my hat and then yarn over and pull through and these are just single crochets this time. So there's our very first one. One single crochet. And then we'll do the exact same thing again for these other four or these other three I guess. And remember through both and a single crochet. Through both, a single crochet, and there's the number four. So we did half of this ear. We'll finish the other half at the very end of this round. Alright, so half of our ear is connected. That's ear number one. Now we want a single crochet 11 in between our ears. So one, two, and 11 single crochets. Now we're going to attach our other ear. So here's ear number two. We're going to do exactly what we did with the first ear through our stitch on the ear and through the next stitch on the hat. Yarn over, pull through, and a single crochet for all nine of these. Here's number nine. Through the whole stitch on the ear, through the whole stitch on the hat. There's number nine. And just like we did in between the ears on the front, the ears in the back get 11 single crochets in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
10 and 11. Now it's time to go back and find those other stitches that were not worked on our first ear. Put them over here. So we're going to work these last stitches through the two on the ear, through the two on the hat, and single crochet for those last five stitches. Hooray! Our ears are attached. All is well, except there's still a big hole at the top of our hat. So we need to reduce this down a little bit so that we can cinch it closed. So we're going to slip stitch into our marked stitch here, just like every other round. Slip stitch, chain one, and in that same marked stitch, we're going to do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. So our reducing on the top is all going to be single crochets. The body down here was doubles. So that was one. We want to do three and a skip. So there's one, two, three, and skip. All the way around. One, two, three, and skip. We're reducing down to 30. Two and three, and there's my last stitch to skip. So we're going to slip stitch into our marked stitch and chain one. And we're going to do one more decrease from 30 to 20. So we're going to single crochet into this first space, replace our stitch marker, and single crochet for the second time, and then do our skip. So it's every two and then a skip all the way around. One and two and a skip. There's our last one to skip. It's right here. Slip stitch. Pull it nice and tight. And that was my very last stitch. We're going to slip stitch right here. Finish off with a nice long tail and cinch this little part closed. So let's get our scissors. We'll just go out like this, enough so you can thread a needle, make it all the way around and pull nice and tight. So we'll go like that, snip. Pull them through. And then I got my fancy schmancy bent needle out of these. All right, so what we're going to do is just go back and forth. alternating in and out all 20 of these stitches in our last round. And just go back through that one one more time. And now we have our loose end was all the way back and forth through there and now just cinch it closed. We can finally get rid of this stitch marker now. Take this needle to the inside of our hat. through our hole there because we want to cinch that closed all the way closed. So now he's inside out. See right here we want this hole to go away. So we're going to pull on it as tightly as we can and just do a couple of stitches across to, to secure it and keep it closed. Won't need too much. And then just tie this off. And weave in your ends. And Mr. Bunny Ears hat is complete. Mr. Bunny Ears is complete. You can shape the ears any way you want because they're 
double sided but we didn't stuff them so you can do anything you want to with those ears and they're so cute isn't he adorable? Evie's going to be so happy when she gets home from school today. And I'm finally done with the blue one. Because I won't wear the pink one as much, but I would wear the blue one. So we're finally done. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.